okay so now that uh, we've got a coffee table let's do a lamp um, I'm going to show you some new ways of doing a lamp this is pretty cool click on here and click on right what we want to do is draw a line draw the shape of the lamp so let's do the shape of the lamp uh, use this this one here click on that and it's um, it's drawing a line now this green line here is what you need as a guide okay so we start from here and this blue line as well we must draw uh, from here and from and finish here can't draw underneath below okay so just click on your mouse hold your mouse and just draw as best as possible your lamp like this like that okay see how it's you know it's along this blue line now what I want to do is I want to fix it to fix it you use this tool see the dots the dot means you can select the dot so select click on that and select the dots what I want to do is I want to make sure that click on the dots and I can move see I can move like that or I can do like that so make sure you you have it like that see it doesn't have to be perfect but it must be along the green line here see this finishes in the green line and this finishes this starts in the green line and this should be above just on the blue line just check that everything is correct and this as well bring it down okay now I also can use um, the this as well make it smooth so I select this okay when you select this it selects the whole object so here we have that click on here go to objects where it says type bezier we go to B spline B spline and this makes it smooth see it makes it smooth so I show you that again click on that and it selects the whole object select spline and object and B spline okay we're ready to create our lamp so go here click here and go to this one lathe nerves what this does is make the shape of this line okay so select this one and it will make the shape take this spline and drag it inside here drag it in here and now we have if you select this go back here and there it is our base of the lamp now we just have to make the lamp itself now here I think I'm gonna make this taller so I can select this and make this just a little bit taller to give it a nice nice height of it okay so I can select that make sure that you have this and make sure you have that to select to make it taller see you can make it shorter taller I want it a little bit taller so I'm just gonna have it like that and now we're gonna make the cover for the lamp okay so we uh, completed this this here uh, the the bottom of the lamp okay and what we want is we we want to um, you know this is our our goal is to create this lamp but we only finish uh, half of that now we have to build the other half which is the top bit uh, which is this one here so I'm going to show you how to create that um, so first of all we go to new there's new this one's easy all we have to do is we click here and we go to star okay star there's a star but we wanted to um, lie it down like that not vertical so we have to go here X Y you go to X Z and now it's lying down okay since it's lying down we also want to make this one here uh, 40 48 so let's make that 4 8 okay 4 8 means it's 48 points 
on there okay and in a radius we want to make it bigger so 190 like that and now if you see we have like a star except it's bigger circle inside on that okay now we're going to have to make one for the bottom and one for the top so star here drag down press control make a copy and here's a copy of the star okay now this one can you make this one uh, at a distance coordinate over here go to coordinate y at a distance 250 so it's 250 from here to there and what we want to do is make this one smaller so we just select this click on that and make it smaller okay once that's done that's it one's big one's small and now we're going to join all this together now you can do it manually which will take you two hours to do or I will show you a whole new trick this one is called loft nerve so click on that okay and then drag this one in here oh, before you drag star here you select this this is the bottom so double click we call this one bottom this one top drag the top first in then drag the bottom in and now we have our half of the other lamp okay now but we haven't finished we have to make it look the way we want it so select loft nerve here double click on it and call it lamp okay and now we go down here where it says cap okay start cap none end cap none that means if you have a look now it's hollow see it's see-through you can see through it see start and end is hollow and we also need to go to object here and subdivisional mesh okay um, subdivisional mesh is here this number here make that 97 okay now we have what what how we like it okay so here is the lamp that's the lamp okay so select all this copy control copy or edit copy and go back to our lamp okay here and paste and here is our lamp now it's a little bit too small so you select the resize tool make it a bit bigger move it and there it is it's a nice nice lamp okay so we have our lamp bottom lamp top now here you see I call it two two lamps okay the top and the bottom this one here is the top so we better call this one lamp top okay leave this one alone now I'm going to show you how to create the material for this thing we want to do is uh, create the material for this lamp I'm going to make this uh, white and this is red white with reflection okay so I go new file shader I want to use this one here um, let's have a look uh, I'm just gonna let me just uh, undock that okay I want to show you material here file shader and down here we have nuke nuke is is like marble except it's reflective um, so I'll show you what I mean here it is but I don't want it blue I want it nice and white so click on here and I'm just going to make it white okay here's white intensity make that a little bit more okay and that's white diffuse select on here and we make that one white okay and there it is so we have that white and put it on lamp here and you can see it's nice and shiny white okay it's too shiny so I just double click on there go back to specular 3 here intensity 84 if you have it too high you might want to go to 50 
Okay, select this first, Spec Specular 3, and now it's nice and light, but it's still uh, shiny. This one here, I'm going to make that red, so I go shader, uh, and down here I'm going to pick this one, Daniel. Okay, Daniel is basically still shiny, but it's a material that is like uh, um, um, a plastic material, but it's not too shiny. So here is red. I like it. I like red, so I'll just leave it at that, and I'm going to put that on the tail lamp top. Now if you look at it now, it's a nice red color. If you don't like red, you can change the red. Double click on here and change the red by going here, select here. Sorry, this one, red, okay, and this one here and play around with that red there. This is too red. You can make it darker red and now it's a darker red and it's nice and shiny. I like it like that because I want my lounge room to be modern so now that we have our lamp we have we want to select both of these okay make into one object so select like this with your mouse select both right click okay put your mouse on here right click group objects and there is one object now double click on here we call this one lamp why are we doing this because we want to uh, select this copy and then go to our sample okay here's my lamp already I'm gonna delete this lamp okay and I'm gonna paste the new lamp paste here's the new lamp it's bigger than the table so again resize click on here make sure you click this one because this is the whole the whole object to make it smaller and now I made it smaller I have to bring it down it's still too big oops so now I can make it smaller and bring it over here and there it is nice lamp if it sits on your table that's fine if it doesn't you have to go into your right here and make sure that it sits on the table see like that I know it sits there so it's fine so now I have my lamp and if I render it there is my lounge room so now I've got a table and a lamp there's the lamp double click on this cube call it coffee table okay now we have two and you just select each one of these copy and paste into the couch as well and make the couch as well now I want to put it all together so here is my couch okay um, this couch here is um, is basically uh, um, a great couch because it's my couch your couch is probably great as well but here is a couch that basically um, I want to make into a uh, put it into a lounge room. So how do I do that? See all this here, cushion, cushion, couch, all this. Select all that, and then group objects. Double click on it. Okay, call it couch. Okay, and here's our couch. I'm going to move this couch back that way, and uh, go to my coffee table and lamp. Select that. Edit. Copy go to couch edit paste paste in look how small that is so select that and make it bigger and there is our, our our couch and table but here's the thing I think the the couch is above maybe the the coffee table see we have to go in here right and you can see it's not on the floor it should be on the Z here see you want to bring that up to the floor here and you want to bring the couch up here as well and there is our there is our lounge room we're ready to build all the other things if 
let's have some light light up here and there is our lamp and our couch we can have lots of light later on but for now I just want to show you you that that there